And now we turn to Ulster County, where police say icy roads are to blame for a deadly morning accident on Route 17. Authorities say one person killed and several others hurt following a seven-vehicle pileup near exit 110. The accident involved five tractor trailers and two cars. The roadway, it was closed for several hours. The name of the victim has not yet been released. Staff members at a local community center, they foiled a potentially dangerous situation that may have put dozens of children at risk. Officials say a man attempted to play basketball with young children at the Everett Hodge Community Center's after school program. Staffers quickly rushed the children inside and asked the man to then leave. Authorities say the man became angry and then tried to enter the building. Officials say the man threw a rock at the door. When he was asked again to leave, police arrived at the scene and escorted that man off the property. Board of Education officials in New Paltz, they're speaking out against plans to put a wastewater treatment facility near a local high school. Board of Ed officials say that the plan, it would compromise the health and safety of students. And Board of Education members say that they were first made aware of the proposal at a meeting last Wednesday. Well, good news that help is on the way for Ulster County residents who receive Social Security Disability Insurance and are looking to re-enter the workforce. A workshop, it is being held on December 18th, that at the Ulster Works One Stop Center. The workshop, it will educate residents about the incentives that are available in the Ticket to Work program established by the Social Security Administration. That workshop, it is again being held at 2 p.m. December 18th, and it is open to the public. Well, that's all the time that we have for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to see you back here tomorrow evening. Till then, have a great night.